Hello, hi everyone, Krishan AK Krupti Hybrid and this is Just Ski. Now, Just Ski is a physics-based minimalistic skiing game where you have to, well, pretty much reach a cabin. Just, you know, take your skis, go down the slope and try to reach the cabin, you know, doing some uh, flips, jump some jumps and, uh, you know, generally getting frustrated that, you know, crashing and burning and having to start all over again. So Just Ski is a game that was um, uh, released on February 7th, it's uh, 2 99 but for the launch week it's 25% off, so you can get it for 2 24 for Windows and Mac OS, it's developed by Jeff uh, Weber, and um, yeah, uh, it has a pretty well, straightforward control scheme, you just have to use the mouse and depending on, you know, the position of the of the mouse, you can go high and low, well, or flip, flip faster, you can do back flips, you can do front flips, well, front flips are a little more difficult, okay, so I actually made that jump, that's good, and you can see you can go kind of down a little bit to get some speed and then when you go up you actually make the jump alright Whee! the game is quite challenging it's um, I've been playing for three hours you know before even starting to make this video and it's like yeah I'm, I, I'm not gonna finish this game the weird thing is that well weird um, something that I take issue with is that it doesn't have any save points so basically you're just um, you have to start from the beginning every time you die the cool thing is that there are you know areas oh come on ah uh, you go from one area to the next but it doesn't matter because you start from the beginning all the time I I really think it would have been uh, a lot more satisfying if you if you had save points Either, you know, like traversing two worlds or, you know, something. But uh, as it is, it's just, you know, if you like starting from the beginning and not actually getting a much sense of accomplishment, then just, just ski, I guess. The music is lovely, though, I gotta say. It's, um, no real complaints there. It really keeps you grounded, though sometimes you feel like raging. It does, you, well, depending on, of course, your character. Uh, I, I never really got to that. I, I got a little bit heated, but, mm, you know, maybe the music makes you just not, not, not as invested. It's like, yeah, it's okay, even if I die, then, you know, I have to start from the beginning. It's, it's, it's alright. It's like, you, you know. It keeps you mellow. I don't know if that's a good thing, but um, but that's how it is, I guess. And you can see the sky is turning red because you're moving to a new area. Oh, come on, seriously, Jesus! Quite, quite uh, frustrating. the 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 weird part is the control scheme. I think it's it's really interesting because your character goes 360 degrees, right? Can rotate. 360 degrees, but the control scheme is on like it's a one-dimensional. Well, it's an axis basically, right? So you just go up and down, which is um, I don't I I don't know if that's the most. I I think not. I don't think it's the most um, uh, the the proper way. It is definitely satisfying when you actually make all the jumps but it it's it is hard to estimate how much you should roll or not and sometimes your character rolls sometimes it doesn't really work as expected um, I don't know it just um, I, I think it's it's pretty hard to estimate estimate you know how the position of the mouse when it comes to um, you know, rotating. It's like if I go too high, it's gonna rotate really fast, and then you know, it's mm. again, your character rotates 360 degrees. It's, it's you're moving on on a, a y axis. That's it. 
So in that regard, it's like that does not, you know, there's definitely a disconnect be between your character and the way you can control him. Come on. I like the visuals though. So visually, I think it looks good. Um, minimalistic, but good. See now that. Something happened. Mm, the sound is good. Interestingly, the music doesn't really get repetitive, although it doesn't seem like it's a long track or anything like that. It feels okay. It's just, um, it's you know, you get to a point, you try to to make a jump, you die, and then it's like great. It's uh, okay. Okay, this one's a little tougher, because you actually have to... Okay. Whee! Okay. Let's go to the next area, which is... I think it's like the green... Yeah, green. Green, green grass of home. Okay. Actually, no, the green one is... The green thing is like where I... See? Alright, now it's like... Ah, the freaking controls, the freaking freaking controls, it's like, it's, uh, in a lot of the cases you have to roll. Now see now he, he rolled so much that it's like, yeah, that does not, it's, it's, it's odd. I think it's an odd control scheme. And it's, I don't know, just, it's odd. It's an odd one. It is an odd control scheme. Ah, see, it's like, mm. come on, Jesus. Sometimes when you want him to roll like a lot, <laughs> he doesn't. And of course, the game has, you know, um, when 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 it's whenever a, a game is physics based, it's games physics based. Which is, you know, not real physics. So you can see a lot of... Um, it's like, this will never happen in the real world! Come on. Oh, come on! See, now he... Okay. <laughs> you go a little bit. It's... Uh... And now it's too much. Uh, it's a quite... Um... I mean, I'm sure there will be some people who like the game. I just think it's... Um, I just think you could have definitely used some checkpoints somewhere. You know, if you go through maybe not one area, but two areas, it should just... Okay, we're gonna start you from there because, you know, you did a challenge, but no, it takes you all the way back. And I think that's... Uh, That's not something that is gonna win over people. Just to uh, turn away more. Come on. To be fair though, I'm not really sure how long the game is. So... It might be that it's... You know, it, has, it doesn't have a lot of areas, so... You know, maybe a run is like 10 minutes or even less than that. So if it's that, if you have save points, it will be easier for you to get to the end. But the alternative is always starting from the beginning and, you know. So I'm not sure, maybe that's the case. Because uh, there are plenty of games like that. They, uh, let's say, mask their limited amount of content with some, uh, well, higher difficulty, let's say. Um, Although higher difficulty just, you know, doesn't, uh, come on, yeah, and in a lot of cases higher difficulty just means, you know, throw everything at the player because he can't, he or she can't, uh, can't finish, you know, our, you know, two hour long game and, you know, in two hours, come on. Come on. Eh. Uh, yeah. 
And again, I'm sure th this this game will find some fans. It's just um, I think it could be a lot w better received if if it has some checkpoints. And maybe I don't know, maybe something extra, something to give you like I don't know, maybe some customization. I don't know. I don't know. It's um, <laughs> it's too minimalistic then. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to go like that. Okay. See, that's the thing. Is like, if you ski, you would be able to control at least some of the rolls. I don't know. But it's in this game. It's like if you try to either lean forward, you know, maybe a attack at an angle. No, your character is like he's just in a ball. He can't, well, he or she, whatever, you know, your character is it, whatever. Um, you're not really skiing because you can't, you don't have all the moves that a skier has. You can't lean forward, you know, um, and, you know, make yourself, you know, more aerodynamic so you can hit the slope at a certain angle. So it, it's, it's, it's limited in that regard, in terms of moves. And yeah, there's someone drilling around here, because why not? Of course there's someone drilling. There's always someone drilling in, in this apartment building, I don't know how. So that that's the thing, it's like, your moves are limited. And much more limited than actual skier would have. Uh, so... I don't think that sentence made sense, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. If you ski, you're not going. You're not just going, you know, round and round like an idiot. It's, you know. Come on, you don't just do flips around your axis, around your core. Oh come on, Jesus! <laughs> there really should be an achievement for you know landing head first. I don't know, like 50 times, because I've definitely landed head first a lot of times already. Oh, Jesus, so much drilling. They could be just playing just ski. And wonder why. Oh, okay, wow. That was, that was close. That was close. That was very close, actually. Whee! Ah, uh, see? When you try to adjust and it's you're really close to the... Ah, uh, difficult. It's a difficult thing. It's a difficult game. It's a difficult game. Probably more difficult than it should be. Come on. Ah, oh, great. Great, I didn't make the jump. Son of a... Mm. So you can see that's, that's pretty much what you do. You flip. You jump and you go from area to area with, you know, basically you change the background color, uh, and of course the the challenges. But that's uh, that's that's, well, that's pretty much what I've seen so far. Again, I haven't finished the game. I tried, but you know. Careful. Ah, ooh, barely made it. Barely made this one. This one's tough. Because you would have to. Okay. Uh, and I see this one. This one. If you would be a real skier and you'd have all the moves that an actual person who skis has, you would be able to. Um, hit that at an angle that you know actually allows you to land properly. So, the limited movement is not helping. Not helping at all. Come on.
And again, I, 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 it's it may be just me that sucks at this game. I just think it's um, there's a disconnect between you know the player's movement and the control scheme, and also a limitation for you know what moves you can actually make. Ah, great. Come on. Whee. You don't have to do backflips all the time, although, you know, it, it, it does matter. Jesus, these people are really drilling everything. Ah, okay, that was stupid. That was stupid, and I'm not gonna make it. Okay, let's try one more time. One more time. Okay. One more time to ski and not face plank into the freaking snow although it's still it's still snow I mean how bad could it be actually never mind don't answer that can be really bad to face plank in snow really bad oh come on see I didn't want to do that move but yeah uh, so everyone that was just ski that was just ski uh, if you want to try it, uh, you can check it out through the link in the description below. It is available for Windows and Mac OS on Steam. It's 25% uh, off, so it's uh, 224 dollars or euro down from uh, 299. Uh, I don't know. Check it out. Check it out. I mean, it, it's you know you can play a little bit, and um, if you don't like it, there's uh, Steam's return policy. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure, like after first 15, 20 minutes, you'll you'll uh, know if you want to continue playing or not um i've been playing for three hours like yeah i was like it's okay and i and i still suck at it but that again that may be just me so everyone again that was just key you can find it on steam to the link in the description below i'm Christian with Clifford Hybrid. thanks so much for watching if you like this video and me face planking uh please leave it uh, leave a thumbs up um and if you like to see more content uh consider subscribing that would be really really helpful uh, in order to keep monetization on the channel and you know have uh, you know obviously more support uh, reaching 1000 1, subscribers would be immensely helpful immensely immensely helpful so please uh, if you can subscribe and tell other people you know who are interested in pc gaming about youtube.com slash cryptic hybrid you can also support me by using the amazon links in the description below whenever you buy anything from amazon just uh, bookmark the appropriate uh, affiliate link and whenever you make a purchase um, a small percentage of the money you spend will help keep myself and the channel alive and all of that is at no cost to you. You can also buy uh, stuff from the Humble Store uh, using the affiliate link in the description and uh, you know sign up for the Humble Monthly. That will be actually you know big, uh, um, big, big plus uh, if you want to do that just uh, again use the affiliate link. Thanks again everyone for watching and until the next time we see each other, have an awesome day!